about to read a little passage from Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. Presently my soul grew stronger, hesitating then no longer. Sir, I said, or madam, truly your forgiveness I implore. But the fact is I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door. Then I scarce was sure I heard you. Here I open wide the door. Darkness there and nothing more. Edgar Allan Poe is one of our famous American writers. Uh, this is his famous poem, like I said, from The Raven. And a lot of rumors surround his writing. Perhaps he was under the influence of drugs. That was one of the big ones. And if you read some of his, his material, you might agree with that. Uh, sadly, his death was marked by a smear campaign by a supposed friend Rufus Griswold, uh, which whom he entrusted a lot of his materials and, and correspondence. Uh, fortunately, over time, uh, a lot of these wounds have been healed because uh, a lot of interest in this uh, literary icon and more was discovered about his past. It was uh, true and not false, uh, as, as was believed for a long time. He was born January 19th, 1809, to a mother and father that were both actors. And uh, this was in a time when acting was not necessarily a reputable profession. Uh, nevertheless, he was the second of three children. Uh, his father did desert the family when he was one. And then, sadly, his uh, mother and father were both dead by the time he was two. And this was in separate uh, incidences that had happened. Fortunately, he was taken in by a successful tobacco merchant and his wife, uh, John and Francis Allen. So they were in the tobacco business, and then that, that business took them to London, where Poe went to, uh, he went to school there from 1815 to 1825. Um, unfortunately, the tobacco trade was in kind of upheaval, and that forced their return back to America. Uh, when he when they did return, his his father's or foster father's business failed, uh, and that put a, a big strain on their relationship. Uh, although the family did send him to the University of Virginia, and apparently he did do well there, but like so many uh, folks in college, he began to drink and gamble heavily, and uh, that forced him to leave school after the first year and return home and. Sadly, the, the relationship between him and his foster father was not uh, any better, and they began to fight, and he was kicked out of the house. So after a, a short stint with uh, living with his brother, he decided to join the Army, and after he got out of his, uh, uh, finished the Army, he wanted to go to West Point and sought to get an appointment there, um, and, and so he actually did that, and went to West Point in June of 1830. Uh, while he was there, he continued to write, and uh, he did use a pen name, though, and this was to escape his gambling debt that he had accrued uh, back early on when he was in, in college there. Uh, then his, his uh, foster mother died, and um, then not too much later, his, his father uh, remarried. It was about two years later, uh, or foster father, I should say, and they had a son with his new wife. Uh, Poe had kind of assumed that perhaps he would uh, inherit the family uh, estate, but because they were very close for many years, despite him and his father's uh, being at odds with each other later on, um, but this was not to be. So apparently, he was completely left out of the will, and, and there was no mention of him at all in, in it. So uh, this kind of was on the uh, theme of, of his life, that he had lived in poverty. He had a lot of poverty, and off and on with sobriety as well. Uh, he wound up moving in with his aunt, uh, Maria Poe Clem, and her daughter, Virginia. So this is where a little bit of scandal comes into his life as well. He wound up marrying his aunt's daughter, Virginia Clem, and she was only 13 years old. So they, they kept it secret for a while, and I think he married her publicly uh, later on. So uh, he was known for his short stories, though, in the late 1830s. 
and reached the pinnacle of the of his success in 1845 with the Raven, uh, which appeared in the, appeared in the American Review, uh, and then sadly though in 19 I mean uh, excuse me 1847 his wife Virginia died of tuberculosis. So in um, after that he kind of had a couple of of relationships. He was engaged to marry poet Sarah Helen Whitman in 1848, but that was broken off and then wound up marrying childhood friend Elmira Royster Shelton. Uh, and that marriage was short-lived because uh, uh, Poe died on October 7th, 1849. The report says he died of what was called congestion of the brain. So I'm kind of thinking from, they said they found him like in an alleyway and, and whatnot, that perhaps it was uh, alcohol related. Um, that's what I'm kind of assuming by that statement. So uh, like so many popular, I guess we use mus musicians and artists of this time, uh, he suffered, I guess, from many of the same excesses you hear in modern day, you know, the old sex, drugs, and rock and roll uh, routine. Um, but he did have an intense desire to to drive the public's literary direction. Um, he's through his less, uh, less appreciated literary criticism uh, that he did throughout his life. And um, I guess I found it interesting. He had, a, had this kind of philosophy to have his works to be able to be read in one sitting. So I know a lot of folks, uh, writers, get hung up on having something that's a certain length to satisfy publishers and what have you. But um, I kind of like his, his avant-garde style there by having something you can read in, in one sitting. So anyway, that's my uh, information on Edgar Allan Poe. And I uh, hope that will encourage everybody to get out, including myself, to read more of his work again. Thank you.